you know, I, I, I wake up some nights thinking to myself, we're going to win the Premier League in the next 30 years, you know what I mean? But you have to dream big. That's, that's the main goal. Our main goal is to hopefully, you know, we're hoping this year we can get up out into the National League and then, you know, the big dream obviously is to be playing league football, you know, to get into the to the professional league, which would be unbelievable, but you've got to take each season as it comes and, you know, we were so close last year. And I think close. Yeah, look, we're, we're on a 10-year project here, you know, hmm. um, and this is, uh, this is uh, coming into year two, if you want to really look at it. And we've got lots of ideas for the for the grounds for the game mm. to grow this as as Chorley as a town, you know, to switching on the Christmas lights. So it's all community based I, I, in much of a light. Yeah, I think it, I think it's important. When we spoke to everybody last year when we came here first, I think the the kind of there was a bit of a worry for us when we were coming in. Were we going to come in and ruin what they already have because they've got this amazing community support and mm. you know Chorley Football Club belongs to the people of Chorley. It's, it's their club, and I think there was a worry that we might come in and try and you know make it a bit. I was going to say use the word Hollywood, but you know, kind of throw money at it and make it all, you know, get a little bit ahead of themselves. And we, we you know, we, after speaking to everyone, we said we couldn't do that. We had to let this grow naturally. You know, we can do whatever we can to try and help get some more sponsorship, but it has to be done at a proper level. We can't just throw loads of money at it and, you know, expect everyone to. Yeah, yeah, it's, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. So we got to help nourish it and grow it. And yeah. you know, if we get up this year into national league, then it's a whole new project. And I think. Our involvement and what we can do will grow as the club grows and the further up we go up that pyramid. So, We didn't come in to take over a team. We've, we've come to join these yeah. teams Good and to, to grow however we can grow as opposed to coming in and say, you know, running the show. Um, no, we're, we're, it's, it's all the involvement of the whole thing. We're as much players as the players in that respect. You know, it's, we, we have to work together. But I, I think, yeah, it's the same as Rex and though. We have aspirations like oh, they aspirations. do. You know, I, I, I wake up some nights thinking to myself, we're going to win the Premier League in the next 30 years. You know what I mean? But you have to dream big. Amen. And we just got to aim for the top. Yeah. You know? But as I said, we have to just take each season that comes. And I think we learned that the hard way last year because I think we were very confident to go up last year. And Thought we were, yeah. Yeah, just that last game of the season. One, I, one defeat and cost us. It was kind of a fairy tale because we had just come in and we were looking good, got to the playoffs, and we're thinking, oh, is it going to actually yeah, happen? It was like, dream oh my gosh, and it didn't. So, but you know what? It was a good deep. reality check, though, wasn't it, it for was everybody as well? I think yeah. everybody was was buzzing all season, but now they know, you know, you can never take your foot off the gas. You've got to keep working hard, and you can see now that you know you just see it in the team. And Priest is having a, a great start to this season, and they're working so hard because they know how close they were last year, mm. but they also know that just a little bit more would have got them across the line. So you can see they're putting that effort in now. The football side of things, what's on the pitch stays on the pitch and what's off the pitch kind of stays off the pitch. And we try not to bleed into both. And you know, we're here as investors, we're here as participants in making this club, growing this club over this next, well, you said, I said 10, you said 30 years. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> so we're here. I was like, I, when I was in, in you know, signed to big rec companies, I hated when they told me how to sing. So we're not, definitely not going to tell them how to play football, <laughs> you know? It's like we say, it, you know, it's, it's, it's very different because, you know, we were the footballers when it came to singing. It was our business and, and you know, the team was the band. But for us, as, as Shanna said, we just want to be a part of this, you know. To, it's, and it's been so nice as well to be coming to a community like Chorley and, to, and for them to embrace us as well. We've been, you know, been nothing but welcome since we've arrived. And, you know, this is something that I want, you know, when, I, when I've got grandchildren, I want to be able to say, I was a part of that. I was a little small part of that Charlie FC story. And it's just something that you hopefully we can take to the grave as a little bit of a legacy that we were involved in something as wonderful as this club. Absolutely. But it's one of those things you look at you look at Wrexham and, and you know if, if we do go up into National League and, and when it needs to when the club needs now more money to be invested, and that's the great thing that you have us here, that we can help to, you know, generate more money, get bigger sponsorship. And that's that's hopefully when our kind of value to the club will start to become apparent when when they need it, because it's not needed right now, you know. It's it's when we start to go up is when we need to kind of pull our socks up, isn't it? Amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. so.